Hi, it's Kathy from Huckleberry Herbs and Art. Today I'm going to do a tutorial on making some little shabby chic stockings for Christmas. Um, I don't find that many tutorials on sewing online and on YouTube, so I figured it's a fairly simple project, but I'll make a tutorial on it just in case anybody's interested. So, here we go. Shabby chic stockings for in Christmas. In order to do these stockings, I'm using some of the trim that I made with burlap and I zigzag stitched the lace on the edge. And I have made a template for a fairly small stocking on a you know, cardboard cereal or cracker box and I have then cut from that my two little stocking sides and I am now just taking that trim and I have already you know slightly measured what size I would need to put one piece on the front and one piece on the back of my stocking and now that I have I, I eyeball a lot of things so um, now I have my general size I'm just going along and snipping the pieces that I need in order to get as many of these sewn together today as I can. So, we'll see how many I get out of this one strip. And just a couple more, it looks like. Looks like only two more will fit. And I'll just trim that off a teeny bit and done. So first I'm just going to put a little teeny hem here and um, I think it's only a couple of eighths. I don't want to use up a lot of my top and no I'm not pinning it. It's only about two inches wide so maybe a little bit more. So I'm just holding it. Not perfect but On the top, you won't, you won't see this on the outside. Um, but when somebody reaches down to get the little present, I'd like there to be a little hem there. Now, I'm just going to tack this down right along the edge, so I don't have to think about it when I'm sewing the two sides together. in there the burlap is already attached and I won't need needles and it's such a small little thing to do that would save so much time with all the pinning etc. I just want to make sure that this is on straight on the top. Here we go. Just right along the very edge. So that now, when I put the two sides facing together and sew them, I'm sure that this is already placed on. Alright, and now placing the two sides together. So the two sides together. Good sides facing, making sure my lace and everything are lined up. I'm going to stitch the two of these together. And I am going to try to, even though it's a little bit difficult, start at the lace part so that the lace is sewn together. I can always hand stitch it, but you know, which will give the machine a little pause for thought. But there you go, it went over. Make sure my 
two pieces are together. And I've already decided that the boot is slightly too long, so I am eyeballing a little bit shorter of a boot in this area um, than originally was planned. So I didn't like my template when all was said and done, in other words. They're tiny and the stitches are very close to the edge. These are the time consuming things that might deter people from sewing, but it can be very relaxing. I'm slightly rushed right now because my schedule is very busy and I feel a little pressure, which makes me feel hurried, but you shouldn't feel that way. And I can see that the lace is folded over, so I'll just put it back like so and use something to make sure I've opened it up all the way. spots that need some extra oomph and could use a little more fussy pulling <laughs> um, and you of course could iron it flat as well but here we go somewhat the beginning of a shabby okay, stocking. Okay so there you go there's my shabby little stockings I have five of them. Um, one of them I need to touch up a little bit by hand here because like I said the burlap and the lace really don't like each other that much and they try to separate. So I have five of them and now it's time to decorate. All right I'm not going to go through the process of showing you how to make flowers. Maybe I'll do that at another point. And there's so many tutorials on them. But I will show you that all I have here is some quilt binding. And why am I using quilt binding? No particular reason. Um, other than I found a, a good little lot of it at a flea market. And quilt binding is not like seam binding. It's not very light. Um, but I just want to make little flowers. It's already pressed like this so that you can go around the edges of your quilts. And you know finish the outside of your your quilt that you're making for your bed. So I'm just going to cut straight up the middle here and give myself two um, pieces of material that are folded over and then I'm just going to sew and make a flower backing. I actually took this very inexpensive little lace cut right up the center so I could get two pieces out of that I'm using some very thin ribbon, some pearl trim, some wild orchid craft flowers, and the Tim Holtz cut um, some organza flowers. Very, uh, I think that's the smallest size. And then I just made some flowers for each of them and glued those on with a little ribbon which I hand sew to the inside and put my ribbons and pearls and my flowers 
all together to make my shabby little stockings. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial and I hope to do more of them and I hope all of you are having a great time. Sorry if this is a little bit early <laughs> but I have very little time myself so if I want to have anything ready for the holidays I have to get going. But there's probably other crafters out there thinking the exact same thing. Anyway I hope you enjoyed my shabby little stockings. You can actually get these on Etsy. I'll be selling them in pairs but if you want take out the sewing machine or even hand sew them. They're just small little projects. A few bits of material and some odds and ends and I think that they're going to make um, great girlfriend lipstick or um, chapstick or little um, eye makeup prize, maybe some dollars, something for the ladies in the office um, and co-workers, just a, a nice little gift package or you know make a few of them and line them up on the mantle, maybe put streamers in between and make yourself a stocking garland, that's what I think I'm going to be doing next. I look forward to being able to find the time to do some more projects with you and to seeing you all soon. Till then, this is Kathy at Huckleberry Herbs and Art. God bless everybody.